Make sure that the appropriate shielding gas is attached to the rear of the power supply with a flow meter regulator. For this demonstration, we will be using argon set at a flow rate of around 20 CFH. Turn on the power supply. The switch is located on the rear panel. Set the remote contactor function to the remote position. Set the remote current function to the remote position. Select DC for the output current. Set the process function to the high frequency start TIG. Scroll through well parameters with the arrow buttons and select preflow. Adjust the preflow time. One second will be the setting for this demonstration. Select hot start and adjust the amperage. 20 amps will be the setting for this demonstration. Select the weld current and adjust the amperage. 150 amps will be the setting for this demonstration. This will set the upper limit for the weld current. The foot control can vary the welding amperage from 0 amps to the preset amperage displayed on the digital LED display. Select the post flow and adjust the post flow time. 5 seconds will be the setting for this demonstration. Set the shielding gas flow rate by cycling the weld cycle and adjusting the flow meter for the desired flow rate. 20 CFH will be the setting for this demonstration. Hold the TIG torch close to the workpiece, but do not make contact with the tungsten rod. Depress the foot control to start welding. Increasing the amount of pressure on the foot control will increase the weld current. Releasing the foot control will extinguish the arc. This concludes the DC TIG instructions for the ArcMaster AC-DC welder power supply. For specific instructions on other weld modes and ArcMaster functions, please refer to the appropriate video provided on this disc.